Hi everyone and welcome to the Jesuit Institute as we enter into this sixth week of lockdown in level four. We human beings are wired to build community. It is in our DNA. And this time of lockdown has deprived us of participating in and building Christian community in ways that we have always been accustomed to. In his book, Life Together, Lutheran pastor and theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who was later murdered by the Nazis, writes from his prison cell about community. And he says, the physical presence of other Christians is a source of incomparable joy and strength to the believer. But Bonhoeffer points out that our desire for community points to a deeper desire, the fusion that each of us desire ultimately with God. And perhaps we haven't given that much thought. Our desire for physical community says something to us about our deeper desire for God, the transient desire that reveals the intransient desire. In a paradoxical way, our attempts of physical distancing have been a way of building community. It has awakened in us new ways of living non-physical community, not just online, but also in the way people have come together to offer help in the form of donations and food and support to those who are in need. Think of the generosity of those making and delivering food parcels, those working in essential services, those offering psychological and spiritual help, or volunteering whatever service they can. They are all building community. Although our offices remain closed, the staff of the Jesuit Institute are working remotely. And today, we begin a new series called Accompanying. So be sure to log into our YouTube channel at midday on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to see this new series. Because that's what we want to do in these challenging times. We want to accompany you so that we continue together to explore ways that we can build community with one another, but ultimately with God.